Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency. Often referred to as a cryptocurrency. That operates without a central authority or single administrator. It was invented by an unknown person or group of people using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto and released as open source software in 2009. Here are some key features and concepts related to Bitcoin. Decentralization. Unlike traditional currencies. Which are issued by central banks. Bitcoin operates on a decentralized network of computers. This means that no single institution controls the Bitcoin network. Blockchain. Bitcoin uses a public ledger called the blockchain to record transactions. Once a block of transactions is confirmed, it gets added to the blockchain in a linear, chronological order. This ledger is transparent and can be viewed by anyone. Ensuring the authenticity of transactions. Proof of work. Bitcoin uses a consensus mechanism called proof of work, PAL, to validate and confirm transactions. Miners use computational power to solve complex mathematical problems. And when they solve one, they get the right to add a new block to the blockchain. In return for this effort, they are rewarded with newly minted bitcoins. This process is called mining. Finite supply. There is a maximum supply of 21 million bitcoins that will ever exist. This scarcity is hard-coded into the bitcoin protocol. Making it deflationary by nature. Digital wallets. Bitcoins are stored in digital wallets. Which can be hardware-based or software-based. These wallets have a public key. Which is like an address that others can see and send bitcoins to. And a private key which should be kept secret and is used to sign transactions and access one's bitcoins. Sydney MIDI While transactions are recorded on the public ledger, the identities of the people involved are encrypted. So, while bitcoin is not entirely anonymous, it does offer a level of Sydney MIDI. Irreversibility Bitcoin transactions are irreversible. Once a transaction is confirmed, it can't be reversed. Unlike credit card chargebacks. Divisibility the smallest unit of Bitcoin is called a Satoshi. Named after its creator. One Bitcoin is divisible into 100 million Satoshis. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency. Often referred to as a cryptocurrency. That operates without a central authority or single administrator. It was invented by an unknown person or group of people using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto and released as open source software in 2009. The need for Bitcoin or the reasons for its creation and adoption can be understood from various perspectives. Here are some reasons why Bitcoin was created and why some people believe it's important. Censorship resistance. Bitcoin transactions can't easily be stopped or censored by governments or financial institutions. This characteristic makes Bitcoin an appealing option for people in countries with strict capital controls or where conventional financial systems are less reliable. Financial inclusion. There are billions of people worldwide without access to traditional banking systems. Bitcoin can provide these individuals with a means to store and transfer value without needing a bank account. Transparency. The Bitcoin blockchain is a public ledger. Meaning all transactions are visible to anyone. This transparency can help prevent fraud and corruption. Reduce transaction costs. For certain transactions. Especially international ones. Bitcoin can offer lower fees compared to traditional banking systems or remittance services. Inflation protection. Traditional fiat currencies can be printed in unlimited amounts by central banks. Which can lead to inflation. Bitcoin has a fixed supply only 21 million will ever exist. Which makes it deflationary by nature. Some people buy Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation in their own countries. Innovation. The technology behind Bitcoin. Particularly blockchain. Has the potential to revolutionize many industries by providing transparency. Security. And decentralization. Sovereignty. With Bitcoin. Individuals have full control over their money. Without needing intermediaries like banks. This level of financial sovereignty was previously unavailable to the average person. Alternative investment. Many investors view Bitcoin as a new asset class. They invest in it for diversification. Potential high returns. And its non-correlation with traditional financial markets. Digital gold. Bitcoin is often compared to gold as a store of value. Just as gold has been used for centuries as a hedge against economic instability. Some believe Bitcoin can serve a similar purpose in the digital age. Bitcoin operates on a decentralized network using a combination of cryptographic principles, economic incentives, and peer-to-peer -peer technology. Hey, race a breakdown of how Bitcoin works. Blockchain. At its core, Bitcoin relies on a public ledger called the blockchain. This ledger contains a record of all Bitcoin transactions ever made. The blockchain is composed of a chain of blocks, each containing a list of transactions. Transactions. 
when someone wants to send bitcoins. They create a transaction and sign it with their private key. Which is a cryptographic signature. This ensures the authenticity of the transaction. This transaction is then broadcast to the bitcoin network. Where it awaits confirmation. Mining. Transactions are confirmed by a process called mining. Miners use powerful computers to solve complex mathematical problems. When they successfully solve a problem. They get the right to add a new block to the blockchain. This process is known as proof of work, PEL. The first miner to solve the problem broadcasts the new block to the network. Other nodes, computers on the Bitcoin network, validate the solution and, if correct, add the block to their copy of the blockchain. For their efforts, miners are rewarded with newly minted Bitcoins, the block reward, and transaction fees from the transactions included in the new block. This mining process secures the network and ensures that transactions are irreversible. Network Bitcoin operates on a peer-to-peer -peer network. This means that there is no central server or authority. Instead, participants, nodes, in the network communicate directly with each other. Every node has a copy of the blockchain. When a new block is added, it's propagated across the network. And each node updates its blockchain. Cryptography Public key cryptography is fundamental to the operation of Bitcoin. Each user has a pair of cryptographic keys. A public key which is used to receive funds and a private key used to sign transactions and spend funds the security of the bitcoin network relies on these cryptographic principles ensuring that only the owner of the bitcoins can spend them and that transactions can't be altered once confirmed to use bitcoin individuals need a bitcoin wallet which can be software based online desktop or mobile or hardware based wallets store the user's private key Ensuring that they can sign transactions and access their bitcoins. Consensus mechanism. For transactions to be added to the blockchain. The network must reach consensus. This is achieved through the proof of work mechanism. Where the majority of computational power, mining, dictates the agreed upon version of the blockchain. While bitcoins creation is attributed to an individual or group under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. The true identity or identities remain unknown. Satoshi conceptualized bitcoin wrote the original white paper titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, and released the first Bitcoin software. However, after a few years of communication with the early Bitcoin community, Satoshi gradually reduced their involvement and eventually disappeared from public communication. Despite the mystery surrounding Satoshi, many other prominent individuals and contributors have played significant roles in Bitcoin's development, promotion, and adoption. Here are some notable figures. Hal Finney an early cryptographer and pioneer in the space. Hal was one of the first people to work on and improve the Bitcoin software. He also received the first ever Bitcoin transaction from Satoshi. Gavin Anderson. He became the lead developer of Bitcoin after Satoshi stepped back. Gavin made significant contributions to the code and was also instrumental in establishing the Bitcoin Foundation. Nick Sabo. A computer scientist and cryptographer known for his research in digital contracts and digital currency. He proposed a precursor to Bitcoin called BitGold, which never came to fruition but shared some conceptual similarities with Bitcoin. Some have even speculated, though without concrete evidence, that Sabo might be Satoshi. A claim he has denied. Adam Beck. A cryptographer and CEO of Blockstream. He created Hashcash. A proof-of-work system that influenced Bitcoin's own proof-of-work mechanism. Like Sabo. He has sometimes been speculated to be part of the Satoshi identity. But there's no evidence to support this. Charlie Schramm. An early Bitcoin entrepreneur. Schramm co-founded BitInstant. One of the first platforms to buy and sell Bitcoin. He also had affiliations with the Bitcoin Foundation. Roger Ver. Once known as Bitcoin Jesus for his evangelical support for Bitcoin in its early years. He later became a vocal proponent of Bitcoin Cash. A fork of Bitcoin. After disagreements about scaling solutions. Winklevoss Twins, Cameron and Tyler early Bitcoin investors and founders of the Gemini cryptocurrency exchange. They have been significant figures in pushing for mainstream adoption and regulatory clarity for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Andreas M. Antonopoulos. A well-known Bitcoin advocate. Educator. And author. He has written several books on Bitcoin and has been a key figure in educating the public about cryptocurrency. Elizabeth Stark. Co-founder and CEO of Lightning Labs. A company working on the Lightning Network. A layer 2 scaling solution for Bitcoin. Luke Dashor. Peter Wuehl. And many others. 
these are contributors to the Bitcoin core development and have played critical roles in maintaining and improving the protocol. Bitcoin, as the first cryptocurrency, has paved the way for many other digital currencies. Over the years, it has faced scrutiny, criticism, regulatory challenges, and volatility. But it has also gained widespread acceptance among merchants, investors, and the general public. It's often referred to as digital gold due to its store of value characteristics. Now you know what Bitcoin is. Please like the video if you did. Please subscribe for daily crypto videos. Please ask any questions or comments below. Thank you for your time.